Hey guys, and welcome back to another Battlefront Hero video. Before we get started, I want to tell you guys about an awesome website I'm a part of. GamingFans.com is a website primarily focused on the mobile game Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. They also do pieces on Star Wars books, and more recently, on Battlefront and Battlefront 2. Any post about Battlefront or Battlefront 2 was done by me with the help of the website's other members. The man behind it all is very kind and helpful, and I'm sure he'd appreciate it if you guys made your way over to his site. I'll have a link in the description. But now, let's get on to the guide. Chewbacca is a smuggler, in addition to being the best friend and co-pilot of Han Solo. He was added as a hero for the Rebel Alliance and the Death Star expansion pack. He is the only hero to use a star card weapon as his primary weapon, the Bowcaster. But before we look at Chewie, let's take a look at his emotes. <laughs> Chewbacca's abilities make him more powerful. His first ability is multi-bolts. Chewbacca's bowcaster will be able to fire more bolts for a limited time. He starts off with two, increasing as he does more damage. Sometimes you'll need to use your multi-bolt ability before you charge it to its maximum capacity. Still, try and charge it as much as you can, because at full power, it forms a wall of death that will strike fear into your opponent's hearts, especially if you're close to a villain and manage to land several bolts on them. His second ability is Mighty Roar. Chewie lets out a loud roar that gives friendly players around his radius the Berserker tree at level 3 for a limited time. This means that their blaster damage, while they're not zooming in, is greatly increased, and this is a very effective trait and is the one I personally use in multiplayer. The timer appears on the left side of the screen. Try to synchronize with your team just when you're about to do a push, roar, and launch your attack. This is very effective for making all the troopers around you effective and dealing the most damage they possibly can before you push into an area in the Death Star DLC for expand for um, instance I use this ability when I push into the R2 D2. Ground Slam is Chewie's third and final ability. Chewie releases a ground slam, which causes enemy players to die within his radius upon impact. This ability is recommended to be done when he jumps, as it will be slightly more effective. Players should be careful upon the uses of this ability, as enemies can survive the ground slam if they hide behind cover or out of Chewie's range. Players should also be careful when performing this ability, because as soon as Chewie is finished, he will be left open as he gets up. Use this ability when you jump off a railing or edge to do more damage and surprise your enemies. Chewbacca's passive trait is called Furious Firing, and is tied directly to his iconic weapon. For each trait level, he will shoot one extra bolt to a total of four explosive bolts. Combine this trait with his first power, Multi-Bolts, to total eight destructive bolts per shot. Chewie is a much-needed tank for the Rebel Alliance, and I hope this video helped you use him a little better. If it did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, as well as follow me on Twitter to stay updated for Star Wars Battlefront and Battlefront 2 news. Until the next video, may the force be with you.